there are times that we forget. That's why we got to remind ourselves. A lot of reminders actually in the scriptures. If you turn to the book in the Bible, if you have a computer, so you can look for the word remember, look for the word remember, look for the word reminder. You can find a lot of for words forget. There are plenty. Okay? So James chapter 1 verse 25, but he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it and is not a forgetful. Okay? Hear it. Just hear a lot of time people say you got two holes, uh, one in here, one out. Just, so don't be a forgetful here, but doers of the word, this one will be blessed in what he does. So the new year is coming. Do you have some new goal setting? You may have forgotten what you are supposed to do in the year 2008. Are you going to do it in the year 2009? If you have the belief you can do it, you can. But if you don't believe you can do it, you can never. But first thing, you must have the belief that you remember it. Let's turn to 2 Peter to conclude this particular sermon. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 to 15. I like this particular passage. I'm not going to show it on the screen. Turn to your Bible. 2 Peter. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 to 15. It's a message from the Apostle Peter before he uh, passed away. And he would like to remind all his faithful, all faithful believers of Christ. Second Peter chapter 1, Simon Peter, one servant and apostles of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained like precious great givers by the righteousness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, as His divine power has given to us all things that pertains to life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him who calls us by glory and by virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be particles of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Verse 5, But also for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith, okay? virtues, to virtues, knowledge, to knowledge, self-control, to self-control, perseverance, to perseverance, godliness, to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. For if these things are yours and abound, you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For he who lacked these things is short sighted even to blindness and has forgotten that he was cleansed from his own sin. Therefore, brethren, be even more diligent. Make your core election sure. For if you do these things, you will never stumble. For so an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Verse 12. For these reasons, I will not be negligent to remind you always of these things, those you know and are established in the present truth. Yes, I think it's right as long as I'm in this tent to stir you up by reminding you, knowing that shortly I will, I must put off my tent just as our Lord Jesus Christ showed me. Moreover, I will be careful to ensure that you always have a reminder of these things after my decease. This particular passage actually tells you what you ought to do. Rather, uh, the apostles Peter reminded all faithful Christians to act faith, virtue, knowledge, and so on and so forth, which is a very important thing for you to remember. So, friends, sisters, you have good memory. All of us have the same brain structures. Thanks to a power of the neurons. It is only your interest that helps you to remember. We love the interest when somebody shifts your hand. Next moment, what is that mean? 
But if you have interest because you want to maybe criticize the person, you want to know him better, you will remember his name. It is not because you don't remember, it's just that you did not register him. And if you have belief, you can remember better. So if you can believe yourself, you can remember the scripture so well, you can quote the scripture so well, you can preach Christ better, you can bring more so. You can be a better parent because you believe, you know all things. You have good memory. You have good things that you know that is good. Your memory are not uh, being, uh, thrown away. When we uh, take the Lord's Supper, it's not the word crucify, not the word new covenant that actually brings memory to you. What triggers you is our Lord Jesus Christ down on the cross. But sad, sad to say, it's difficult for everyone of us to really put in memory unless you can have an impact. When somebody dies in front of you, for you, you will remember very much more better. So what's in your memory, what you cherish, what you want to do is all depends. If you forgot everything, there will be no more yourself. So use whatever God gives you, the God prospers, and let us move forward to a better year. Shall we all stand and sing a song and crush the time we saw? Uh, yeah,